yeah, well, it's it's actually very important to be able to recognise that line in the sand as well, I believe, because um, I'm not qualified to look after psycho analysts and, and anyone who actually has a serious you know, mental condition or believes that they're, you know, they're broken or need to be fixed. Uh, that's not what I do. I suffered from depression, anxiety. I had a mental breakdown. I had, um, yeah, I suffered with substance abuse, alcohol, um, and I had to overcome those things. I did a lot of it myself, but I had the help of uh, a loving, supporting partner. Um, my wife's been amazing through this. I have my coaches and um, and and just my community. And I, I believe that the opposite of addiction isn't sobriety, but is uh, community. And that's that's been an amazing uh, experience as well to have friends from years ago before yachting even. Um, you know, been there for me, helping in that regard. Um, so, yeah, I, I've experienced those things firsthand, uh, being quite lonely. I was very depressed and, and kept the facade up, like, you know, show must go on, still balancing everything. But really deep down, like my attitude, my behaviour has changed a lot in the last year of being in the industry. And it's a real shame to look back and, and at that. Um, but, you know, you, you grow through these things. So, yeah, it's um, being firsthand experience has been you know, my school of hard knocks, getting through that. And, and that's where I've, you know, I can relate a lot to that because I've, I've experienced that firsthand. Um, I've had our friends commit suicide, um, which was really unfortunate. They couldn't reach out. And that, that really affected me as well. And that changed my behaviour towards the end of my career as well. Uh, or career in yachting, not me. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so finding that line is, and we normally get to that within the first session. Like um, first, you, we know straight away whether we're a good fit, and I don't work with everyone. Um, it's it has to be, and it's it's an energy and an emotional exchange between the both of us. So both it has to be a, a hell yes from both of us, and and exactly, I'm more than happy to refer people uh, on to to qualify people for help or another coach or uh, however they they think it's going to help them. Because at the end of the day, it's about the client. Um, you know, it's about getting you the results that you want, whether that be someone to talk to, whether that be uh, achieving a result, getting a promotion, you know, getting a new vessel, whatever the result you desire or the client desires, that's that's what I'm here to help with. And um, if they want to go and get clinical help, then I would help them and point them in the right direction. I mean, is one and all those sort of things, the yacht helpline, all that sort of thing. So there's a lot of support now for, for crew and that's, it's that's a really really good thing to see um and I'm, I'm really looking forward to developments in in this area and, and hopefully we see no more or, or a less mental health issues with crew on board and this it's they're able to talk openly better leadership more support and we don't see any more um you know silly accidents and and unfortunate events happening in the industry because it's it's a really such a shame to see a very unique industry and yeah i'm quite proud to have done a lot of the things that i've done in the industry so yeah i'd like to see that happen and continue on and pass that down to others well that's why i think it's so important that someone that's been a captain is a captain's coach because yeah. i know teaching the medical side of things that you know people like working with me because i practice medicine and i still go to see well i did yeah. <laughs> recently and I'm going again soon but you know, you know I've got the stories and and it's a very unique industry yeah, you know like even if you'd come from the navy or the merchant navy or commercial oil and gas you you cannot understand the the you know the difference so, in the, the industries until the, you're actually there you know that's it the little intricacies that's it um, so I, I worked a little bit commercial before I got into yachting as well and tourism and, and all that sort of stuff and then, yeah, jumping into yachting, um, completely different, you know, setups on the boat um, and how they're run and structured and everything is, is completely different. Um, yeah, it's it's very unique and, and, yeah, like I said, quite proud to have been a part of it and it's it's led me to so many amazing opportunities. So, yeah, I'm forever grateful and thankful for, for everything I've got out of yachting. I just and um, we know it's stressful. So as an example, because yeah. we take blood pressures every day or every few <laughs> hours or every five minutes if you train with me, um, because there's a method to my madness, it's what we need to do in a medical emergency, right? But 
like at this time of year in April, May and June, the blood pressures, especially of the captains, are through the roof yeah. to the point where, you know, I had to kind of change the parameters for my class. So I'd be sending people to a hospital, you know, every day. And then when I go home, I was working in the trauma ward and as an experiment, I started taking the blood pressures of the doctors and nurses in the trauma after recess and their blood pressures weren't getting as high as ours. And, you know, they're similar jobs. They're both high stress, you know, one's saving lives, one's making someone's life better. With a <laughs> but, you know, it was both feel like life and death at times and we could laugh at that, but it's actually true. Yeah. You know, I've seen people put themselves in ridiculous situations like, self-medicate during a heart attack because they didn't want the boss to know they were having a heart attack and wow. things like that. We're in extreme stress. And, yeah. and it's not the kind of job where you can go home and tell your friends from your hometown that your job's stressful because they just think we drink man ma martinis and <laughs> go to Nikki <laughs> Beach all the time, right? You know, even in a lockdown. So it, it, it it's really important that we have someone that, that has been on the ground and understands the stresses that we have because they are very real and very yeah. important. So my next question is, is that I'm a captain, um, it's May, and I just found out today, Monday, that the boss is coming on Wednesday for his first boss trip um, and he hasn't been on board the boat for eight months and we've just done a refit. So we're still putting things back together. You've been there, you know the deal. Uh, and he wants to stay on board for a month. Can I just ring you right now and go, rah? You know, do you just do like the one, you know, like going to a GP, you know, can I just book in a session or do you do group work or do you do longer term things for, for the more support? How, how do I get to work with you? All right. Well, um, very interesting about the stress point because five years ago I had a full set of hair and then uh, this all fell out in the industry. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I do one-on-one uh, -on -one is, is what I really like to do. The group sessions um, have been very good, but it's, again, it's very interesting in this industry because a lot of people prefer to do one-on-one -on -one sessions. So one-on-one -on -one is, is my main um, my main delivery method, I, I suppose you could put it, and I prefer doing longer terms. Um, I do have sort of uh, an SOS uh, option. Uh, if people just want to vent, uh, I'm, I'm always open for that like you know the phone's always open the, the door's always open the phone's always on the hook so um i do prefer i think the results come with time and it's you know results uh is it a yeah they don't take time they take courage as well so it's it's first it's just reaching out more than happy to take requests all the time but yeah I, I prefer doing it in uh you know over three months I believe that's that's a really good time to really get to know someone and really get into the nuts and bolts of what's going on I found a lot of my clients uh, I know you've probably found this as well what people tell you in the first few times is bs and you, you really need to get underneath that first layer and um and that's when we start to really get in and see results then um and that's when people really start to open up when we, we build that so, yeah, um, I have a website which is actually having troubles at the moment, but I'm on LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, and uh, I have WhatsApp as well. So that's all, um, yeah, and like I said, I'm available all the time. It's, and those um, links will all be below. Yeah, yeah, that'll all be there. And, uh, yeah, so it's, um, I'm, the, yeah, the captain's coach on Facebook, on LinkedIn, and, uh, yeah, my, my number's there. So it's, yeah, the, the, the door is always open, and I'm always always really happy to talk to other other captains and crew because it's it's, it's a two-way street we both get something out of this you can talk to me and i get insights into what's happening in the industry i get a little a little tickle of kind of going to see again and experiencing all the, the hectic and stress that comes with the job without actually being there which is really cool i, I do miss going to see um so it's, it's my way of actually still being part of the industry without actually um falling apart in the industry <laughs> but yeah that's my little catchphrase there, I used to be, uh, I'm, I look after senior senior yacht crew, uh, taking them from um, to breakthroughs before breakdowns. And um, I especially deal with men. So, and I help captains get their ship together. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's yeah. fantastic. We're going to write that down below as well. Beautiful. Two more questions. One's okay. just 
uh, you've kind of answered it, but just for clarity. So you don't just work with captains. No. You can be another position on the boat, but you tend to specialise in the more senior members. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes, I do specialise more in the senior because it's it's something I believe in is the um, it's just creating that that safe space and the support for the senior crew members that they seem to be missing. Keeping um, it together. Yeah, so it's like a I, I'm the third party. I'm impartial, and um, you know if they want to vent or if they actually want to help and get some results and you know, we can look at all sorts of options. I do a lot of bespoke. It's not a set one thing for, you know, for each person. It's, it's all individually tailored. Um, and again, like I said before, it's all depending on the person's case by case and it's really getting down to what you want to achieve, what the client wants. Um, and that's, you know, that's the most important thing is, is, is that they have the support. So yeah, senior yacht crew. Um, I deal a lot with civvies as well, actually. I, I, um, I have a lot of civilian, uh, actually high class, uh, high uh, level um, management um, back in Australia, like lawyers, people who work for government. Uh, yeah, so same. it's all the same sort of thing. People are struggling in their groups, can't reach out to their, their team or um, their crew. And that's, um, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been very interesting. It's interesting you say that because a good friend of mine's a lawyer and, um, you know, when the mental health things came up in yachting, we were discussing ideas and she was one of the co-creators of Wellness at the Bar, um, yeah. which if you haven't seen it, look into. And it, it's huge in the UK, you know, because yeah. as obviously being a lawyer, like a yacht crew and captains is quite a stressful job because you're exposed to some things that one wouldn't normally and probably shouldn't normally be exposed to. So... Yeah. They um, actually helped a Yachty mental health organisation who I should know formulate their plan for the lawyer's version of wellness at the bar. Oh, yeah, beautiful. And that bar as in like the ball bar. Yeah, exactly. The, yeah, it's, it's yeah. very clever. It <laughs> um, but one more question. Yeah. Are you also doing or open to doing um, like corporate wellness style events on boats to keep the whole ship together? Would you, yeah, yeah. Do you do something like that? Yeah. Awesome. We were That's actually in talks fun. last year. There was a group of of, um, of yacht crew, ex yacht crew, and we were looking to do uh, looking to doing things like that. Um, and then, of course, COVID hit. So it's, the current world situation sort of prohibits a lot of, or, you know, has made travel difficult for some of us. Yeah, um, it has. <laughs> but um, we're getting out there again, and yeah. and it, I think it's needed. I think yeah. it's definitely something that. Having been in corporate and been in yachting, I think that could be the missing link to keep the ship together. Basically. Yeah, that's it. And um, so it's definitely something I'm looking forward to or lo looking at going forward is um, being able to be on board and doing, uh, you know, group trainings and leadership and all that sort of stuff. Because um, as you're aware, we we all learn differently. We all react differently to, to different uh, input, forms of input, um, you know, some are visual, some are, are not, and, and verbal, and it's so we have a, especially in yachting, with lots of big egos, lots of different learning environments and and situations, high stress, and it's it's a melting pot for disaster if it can't be handled properly. So, um, yeah, I'm a big advocate for 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 creating a good community on board, healthy community, and um, yeah, it's just something I wish that I had years ago, and it could have helped me just do so many. Amazing things, even more amazing. But yeah, that's I'm looking forward to being a part of, of change. It's good. Well, thank you so much. So guys, you. if you want to keep your ship together, give us a call. <laughs> um, we're gonna put all these details below so you can find him on LinkedIn, what Facebook, WhatsApp, all, yep. all the places and the yep. website. Um, thanks so much for being on on the show. I was about My to pleasure. stay on board. Yeah, <laughs> and, um, yeah we, maybe we could chat again sometime. It's been My pleasure. Time. Thank you so much for having me, Mandy. Amazing. Cheers. Thanks, everyone. You're listening to Inspirations with Amanda J. And we'll be back next week on Yachting International Radio. We'll see you later. Bye.